Alrighty. This one, this one's a tricky one. Just gonna warn you. Now, a lot of people consider this to be the first truly hard level on regular old U Plutonia Ultraviolence, so... How is it fair on UV Plus? Well... Uh, it's kinda tough. First of all, you already heard the Cyber Demon roar, and secondly... Well, it's Plutonia UV Plus, so I don't know what you expected. I mean, it's gonna be hard one way or another, so... I'm just gonna grab the Super Shotgun, gear up, and take care of some Chain Gunners. Along with Phantom Elementals, there's three in this beginning area, because... Like I said... People seem to forget that Plutonia loves its pain elementals. I wouldn't. They're just as annoying as the Revenants and the Chain Gunners. But I suppose if they get the job done in killing you, then well, they deserve their spots. Who am I to complain? I knew what I was getting to when I started this. Especially considering I've already played most of the maps on UV Plus. And you know, I've already done all of them on Ultraviolet fast. After a while, it gets pretty easy because. Tonya rarely ever does give you enough ammo to deal with on regular ultraviolence, but on UV Plus, man, on a lot of these levels, you'll be crying for even a bullet. But we haven't seemed to get to those levels quite yet, but you'll see it later. Okay. Yeah, so everything is right there. So I don't want to really camp right there. Okay, come on. I need a rocket launcher, that's what I need. Oh yeah, I also need... Frick. Come on, I can't be making mistakes like that already. Yeah, I, I want to save the, um... Thing. Did they kill the Archfile? I'll just be so happy if they kill the Archfile. I didn't really get lucky with that. Like I hoped I would. Yeah, we can just kind of hide behind here, see? Can't really shoot through that, so... That's pretty cool, but we're not going to use that... often. Archibald, can you stand still, please? Don't want to waste these rockets. I already know you take, like, four, and I don't know... how much health you have left. Oh my god, he killed him! Well, never mind then, I guess. Um... Barons, your time has come. Or maybe not. Okay, let's just kill the Cyber Demon then, I guess. We're gonna try to save ourselves for later. Because later, we have some good times coming with the BFG. Well, not really. I don't think this level's really structured well to use the BFG on, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah, just shoot the fountain. Good, Cyber Demon. Where can I get more shells? Okay, just gotta be careful. I only have 100 health, so... Mega armor, schmega armor, he's still gonna one-shot. And, you know, I don't really like having to deal with these barons at the same time. So I have to constantly get out of the way every now and then, just to make sure I'm not getting hit by the barons. Which is a little annoying. But I guess what can you do? I mean, he's dead. I got what I wanted. Okay, that's one dead baron. Two dead barons. This whole area is completely cleaned out. So, I'm gonna go for some more. You know what? Actually, let's go ahead and do the Spider Mastermind Trap. Everyone remembers this one. Probably the most memorable part of the map. For good reason. Doesn't really change that much on UV Plus, so. Yeah, get them to fight with the Revenants and the Chain Gunners, and yeah, this part ain't too bad, really. The Revenants, I find, usually have a tough time, I usually have a tough time getting them to actually in fight with the Spider, so... You know, it's not too hard to dodge your projectiles from a distance, because then at that point, it's pretty easy to just take a spot and stick to it, you know, find a place where... It's hard for them to hit you and work with that. I am a little low on health, so I might go for the Mega Sphere, which is the only secret in this level. And it's barely a secret, you just take the teleporter. In fact, I, I don't even know why I'm saying barely a secret. It's not a secret at all. I guess they needed a secret somehow, but it really, a, I mean, it could have worked 
like not being a secret. It's the only item in the level anyway, so. Spider Mastermind seems to be asleep. That's good. I can take out the chain gunners without having to worry about her, you know, shooting at me. Let's hmm, It's been in by Spider. Just checking to make sure all the chain gunners are dead. Definitely would have been shot by now, so. Yeah, they're dead. And the spider still won't wake up. Okay, I'll give her something nice to wake up to. Let me just get all this cell and BFG out. There we go. Perfect 200 health. We're about ready to finish this level. Hopefully I don't blow myself up or make any silly mistakes because honestly, in terms of my in terms of my experience with this level on ultraviolence, ultraviolence fast, hurt me plenty, but whatever every single time I'm on this level. I swear, the second half, I take more damage from, like, blowing myself up in this section than, a than the actual monsters, and it's really frustrating. Because if you mess up bad here, the level's basically over. And I don't really like to have to admit that I've died more to myself than the monsters. Like, don't act like that's a good thing, because it's not. You really think I want to play with some of these longer Doom levels and die 50 minutes in because I use a rocket and, like, fell off a fell off the thing or something. That's not nice, but this is nice. Just having all those chain gunners dead instantly. Well, really only two. I didn't really get that lucky with them. This level, like I said, isn't really built well for the BFG, so I just kind of come up with my own times to use it. Alright, come here, Pinky. That's one dead archival. See if I can use him as resurrection bait. There we go. Now let's just take care of the chain gunners and hopefully this ending part goes well. Yeah, I was kind of hoping I could get all four of them with that BFG shot, but alas, I only got two. Still better than nothing, I guess. Okay, let's see here. Okay, we technically have 100%, but I'm not even going to bother using rockets here. I don't want to blow myself up. It's not too hard to dodge your projectiles. May not be as fast, but, you know, I'm not really trying to go for the fastest time in the world anyway. Ooh, two down the hallway. That could be a little nasty. Let's just wait for them to go a little closer so I can shoot them with rockets from down here. Be careful not to hit the, the zombie men's bodies on the stair. Because they are wait, hang on a second. Yeah, see? They count as they count as, you know, uh, decorations, and as such you will kill yourself with them. Okay, one more ought to do it. There we go. Some more rockets. We only got three monsters left, and they're all barons of hag, so. Let's just go with a good old one too. Uh, sadly, I couldn't really one shot any of them. But they should be low, so. Yeah, seems pretty low to me. Alright, that's all kills, all secrets. Let's just go ahead and get out of this level. Like I said, Ghost Town, it's, it's brutal on UV, but at the same time, pretty manageable. As long as you can make the Mega Arm at the beginning last as long as possible. The level is doable. Again, I've had more trouble with this level from my own stupidity than the actual monsters I find a lot of the time. So as long as you can make the first mega armor last as long as possible, then you can easily ride the mega sphere for the rest of the level. And it's it's doable on UV Plus, so it's very doable on regular ultraviolence, trust me. So yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. You guys have a great day. See ya.